Okay, everybody. This has been a long time coming. Uh, the game I am playing now is Alan Wake, which is one that literally all of my friends have told me is the kind of game that is tailor-made for me. Uh, just a little bit of background before I uh, plot a new game and get into a blind playthrough. Um, I have a degree in English literature and uh, uh, would like to eventually be a writer. Uh, I do write. I, uh, uh, I do write, but uh, I have not yet finished anything, nor had anything published. Uh, writer's Block is uh, apparently the boss of this game, and wow, uh, I get that. So uh, every single one of my friends has told me, you need to play Alan Wake, you need to play Alan Wake. It's a story about an author, so I wonder if I'll have to deal with uh, depression or alcoholism in this game. Either way, let's give it a go. We learned our lesson with the Resident Evil thing. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to you start the with a quote fear. from On Writing. In a story, the Excellent keeps done. asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. Even if you're not a Stephen King fan, On Writing is, I think, one of the, the strongest longest, books that we'll you can read the about the process. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Dun, dun, dun. I figure this is also going to be like spot the literary reference. Uh, but this yeah. dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. How very Lovecraftian of you, Mr. Wake. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, this is an I could older remember. game, but uh, I've been driving too fast down a coastal home. road to get there. Coastal town. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail, and I would never see Alice again. So Alan and Alice. <laughs> that ain't good. Suddenly, his body was gone. I wonder if this is the kind of game, like... I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand... Turn off the light for this? Like, I have another... I have a light this direction and a light from this direction so that you can see all of this beauty. Use what? No, wait. See if we can. Get a glimpse of the title. I had to go to the lighthouse. Enough. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Oh, see, this is fun. Now they're... They're giving me the narratives through our protagonist's... Uh, uh, inner monologue which is something true like I, I can speak for myself of course but also uh, I imagine that most writers tend to be constantly internally monologue Ran over you, dude. I think you're God. You think you could just make up stuff? Um, I got no weapons, so.
Ooh. sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. Also true. You'll never publish another one. Ooh. The lights are going out. You missed your deadline. I uh, can I? Okay, shift and directions to dodge. You can't stop me. Dramatic tension. Was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? I mean, I'm good. For some reason, I see it seems as though I am listening to port. Okay, but like, but how? Follow the light. You are hurt. You should go into the light. Oh, you are only, only safe there. there. a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. This, uh... Is that Kubla Khan? What is that saying to do? I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Okay, so that little A is right now. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Good. You 
you've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. <laughs> that is all. In the uh, future, thanks, guy. A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Boosting the light. Darkness away faster, but also I'm betting choose through my battery. All right, I got a flashlight. I got a gun. In this way, and now I'm gonna this is it. Oh. Okay, so weapon up at the top, flashlight at the bottom. Gonna have to dip, dodge, and dive. There. Ooh, a coffee thing. This game does understand riders. Okay. Like the perfect place for more meat. Just like. Oh, right there, a bunch of ya. Uh... to reload with a panic I am uh, I am already very much impressed with this game drop hazard how many times am I gonna have to play this recurring uh, nightmare I mean, that is all of our continual existential fear. I can keep this up I don't think that we're meant to fight that one. Ooh. Okay, so I can only spread for short periods of time. Come on, Alan. Oh, this is not an action hero type thing because I ran about eight steps and am winded, so art imitates life. Stop for coffee. Okay, now go. Excellent within game in terms of perspective. As I recall, the reason that I'm in this place is because uh, I came here to, uh, as I was flipping through the manual, I came here to uh, beat my writer's block. Alan hasn't slept well uh, or written anything in two years. Just another nightmare. What a great Everything tutorial level. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Alan does look like I feel in those days. Welcome to Bright Let's go to Fantasy Maine! This 
far as I can tell, is uh, equivalent to uh, Stephen King's fictional name. As in, they're all the same thing. Speaking of fantasies, I think by now I'd, uh, it's necessary that I make my, uh, my stance on things absolutely clear. I refuse to acknowledge like the existence of Rhode Island. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I, uh, I don't believe it's a real shot. place. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. That. Hi. That pal. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Bain, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, friendly, uh, uh, way. I won't friendly pretend I don't recognize me, huh? a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. He's even got gray I'm hair. Reader myself. Like, they were, everyone was right. Of me, but I'm the night host of the local radio station. Any chance that we get an interview? Look. This guy just Mr. rides Wake, the ferry back and forth? I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. I'm not a hard man to track that we down can. and change your mind. That we can. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thanks. I imagine it's going to be filled with survival horror. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Dressed like she's about to go motorcycle. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there? Very. What a yeah. comfortable looking uh, blazer. Patches at the just elbows. Say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you, you tell. Alice is like, oh, are. it's Barry. So, Done with this. Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure Good you're doing okay. Me. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Yeah, put the Barry phone away. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Oh, edit. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. All right. Not in the Lincoln Mark One. Hey man, he's a working author. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bag. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Okay. Yeah, sounds like Sounds like you a lazy bastard for we a husband. We stopped at the local <laughs> diner to get the cabin Writers. key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Look at all this, uh, Alan, realistic product placement. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Um, no one has actually said, I love you, to you yet. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl know. Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I got all of your books. Yeah, just I just enjoy the that people have... When they took it out of the window. Appreciate keep the it things well, you have, okay. when people you appreciate you. what you have created. The Sudden Stop is the name of it. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Right. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. I know that feeling. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. 
Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? Yeah, you man. Listen to old bikers. Me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. There we go. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Don't DMC me for that. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> this is like the log lady from uh yeah, this is this is a very twin peaksy game, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Don't go in there, You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky want to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Uber Eco fans always did. Um That she warned Carl Stuckey and he didn't listen. Okay, Carl. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Woman in a funeral veil. That's it. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Okay. Well, can I... You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid, <laughs> Damn hernia. Not old timer, so this guy's calling me Tom. That Tom the poet, has this happened before with another writer that wears my face? It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle of it, would you, Tom? I wish. Or Anderson's. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Dude, they're just, they're just old bikers, man. I've met plenty of them. Okay, we gotta keep talking over the, uh, over the music. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison Aww. we have at the Park Cafe. He doesn't. He doesn't come. Bye, Mr. Wade. Now this is what coffee should taste like. He's not showing up for the co mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights just in case. How handy. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your. Your keys! Roll. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're or supposed all of to be Stephen on vacation, King's. Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. I would eventually like to become an old, like an old, crusty biker that you find in there. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Dude, but two not years. Since my last book. Not, you know, career death. Not everybody can be Stephen King or Brandon Sanderson, right? You folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. I'm really enjoying that. It's pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. 
Uh, music. Uh, hey, we're talking over the music. There is no music here. Nothing to worry about, anybody. Don't copyright strike me. Wow. Ivers Orange and Sally. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. Mm. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Better move those boots then. Nothing like... Uh, like my very own Parliament of Ravens to welcome... Welcome us home. Bird leg cabin. Scopity scope around. Should be okay here in the. Besides, now I know there are secret collectibles. You know what that means? I can get all them thermoses. Let's just. This place seem kind of. raveny to you. Like, lots of them. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Lots and lots of them. Watering can. Generator. I am certain I'll have to be back out. Cellar door. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta get inside. Come on, honey, get the door open so we can get a look inside. Come on. Uh, it keeps giving me little tiny here. like video games. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Uh. Hello. Anyone oh, here? Like compass per se. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Mm. Damn. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. All right. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. I mean, the calendar says 70s. Now I guess we have to get back down to that, uh, that generator out in front of Couldn't be something so simple as just a normal fuse box, I suppose. Your best guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into a oh. famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can get a little bit of an You said you were gonna be discreet, Matt. At... At main. This is another game where we're going to run into my greatest foe, my complete and total lack of a So there is kind of a little, yeah, a little compassy. Just have to find the door. Oh, render door. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. I like it. There's a, it's a bunch of mini games that, uh, that like, it's interesting because there's no explanation for them. You only have to worry about mouse buttons, but it's like, hey, figure it out. Okay. So Look far, they've been pretty intuitive, but I imagine they're going to get harder. It was a beautiful place. I told Plenty of ravens. I rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. 
I know that I'm a, uh, I'm a somewhat, I thought uh, we could be happy here. uh, gothically inclined individual in fashion. Uh, always too fat for the fashion, but very pale. Appreciation for dark colors. Uh, big on themes of memento mori and, uh, you know, recognizing the, uh, uh, recognizing beauty and darkness and, uh, Alice? The preciousness of our immortality. A shoebox I could go for an island full of ravens. Sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Your dreams to prevail. Get sleep the light. Full of the shit. Of Thomas is the poet. This is more essential. That'll be. So it does give me I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna have to be ready in case uh, in case this game has digital need mark. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. Hi. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. It's a gun. Surprise! Oh Alice. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you, everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like Ooh. that. That's not- Oop. Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. Guy, you need to ease up. Not everything's an emergency, Al. We're out. I'm running as fast as my little rider Alice, body can catch up. It's all right. I'm coming. I can make you look a few new hello crows. Oh, okay. I gotta dodge those. Kill my wife in a uh, Stephen King S twist. Oh no! Ooh. So far, I am really loving this. Keep going, Alice. Way to go, Alice. one nightmare and entered another I couldn't remember how I got Ow. there all I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice the phone was dead I'd have to find help on foot Wow the game has already hit us with three Among different interests things was a book the creator's dilemma doctor. by a doctor Emil Hartman Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Is this, uh, like... Is Alan just going through therapy in the, uh... Throughout the court? The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. There phone. No, bird. Damn. Or...
I really enjoy. It is fitting for uh, a rider. Hello? Oh, I cannot, in fact, sprint very well. Hello? Someone there? Hello? Creativity and inspiration? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. Hmm. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. I dig this. On manuscripts. With Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered oh, this in is shadows. Cool. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. Okay, so, uh... I'm about to get attacked, aren't I? Already, this game is messing with... Anybody there? Perceptions and, an like, the reality of the narrative. Very cool. Already got two different kinds of frame store. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Maybe I could go to the no doubt friendly logging camp. Good. Shocking balance. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Ooh. Please. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. Listen, I need two premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. Oh, my. To beat you. Non representing reservation deposit required. Fair and square. I would very much like a weapon, please. Oh, at least I got coffee. I get the what? The taking stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot. spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud. Do I have a flashlight? Shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly mm. something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Meat? We go this way. Nope, that's a uh, that's death. I like the vocal distortion that they've got going on. It's that is a cool effect. Okay, so the, some kind of light source would be fantastic. So all we gotta, all we have is a, all we have is dodge right now. So. You lose. Shit. It's the latest. Okay, Stucky. Ah. I 
had to Shining. figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking well, on the door I mean, with his axe. You can like just leave Nicholson it subtle, my guys. Shining. This playthrough is sponsored by Energizer. During your record. Alright, so I got 12 bullets on me. 24 bullets on me. And a bunch of energy. You can see the sight and hear I'll call for help. Yes. Right fall sheriff station. Oh, may I... Hello? Yeah. Hello? Pop the cord. I think there's a this is bad. Yeah, it is. There's much of a way out of this, I don't think we gotta. Going to have to uh, kill again. Okay, reach the gas station. Outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies, they just disappeared. If I was dreaming, well, that's it felt good. real Plus enough to make me sick. I don't know if that just helped me or not. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. I like that, uh. These symbols react with the light. Forces you out. A cool little design trick. Mm -hmm. I don't trust that. A flare gun. All right. So we got the pistol for now. This is like the searchlight is like a rechargeable but stationary thing. She's been oh. gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Aww. Rose. They Rose has a crush. For each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. The use of light in this game is This will be a part of a series of frames. Uh due to the fact that on Steam, Alan Wake, Alan Wake's American Nightmares, and Roll were all in sale, so Oh. 
<laughs> what the hell was that? A good question. Uh, hang on for just a second, folks. We're going to pause it for just a moment. Because, uh... It's about the time for my dogs to freak out, so we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me as I play through uh, Alan Wake, the game that literally everyone has recommended that I absolutely need to play. So far, they're right. Uh, I'll be back in just a flash, so hang tight, go grab a beverage, get something to drink. Uh, pay attention to, uh, you know, pay attention to your own animals. See if they need to go outside and use the bathroom, so we'll be back in just a flash. Ah, pets. Such joy and joys in our lives. Such distractions. All right. Goal is still to reach the gas station. Our uh, pathetic writer's stamina. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. I don't know. On bad effects for the time. Look, way across. It's easy. It's fine, Alan. I would like it if the perspective was a little bit, a little bit more over his shoulder. Might make the control a little easier. And Make it feel less like I was constantly tilting to one side, but you know. Take it now. Barry's arrival. I'm missing a bunch of pages. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It mm. could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Barry's the real hero of this game. Up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. Just like, just like with all writers. Something was wrong. The real heroes are the, uh, are the editors. Hey, but I didn't just like miss a huge trove of. Those manuscript pages. I want to keep up with those. Mm -hmm. Carl, doing okay there, pal? Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. A uh, quick, uh, a quick look. Uh, can you guys hear the voice work in the game? Uh, loud and clear, or do I need to turn that up? The narration's going to be important to both of us. Uh, battery. Not a battery. Okay, a checkpoint. That's both good and bad. Click 
quick. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Logging area ahead, proceed at your own rate. More of that reactive. Want us to get on that ladder. And. I mean, if I had to, you know, like. fight a whole bunch of zombies in order for my book to write itself. Fair price. I could swing that. Give me a flashlight gun. Help me get past the parts where I have to possibly reimagine several of my main characters. The nature of police. They're taken. They're taken. Good with dark. Aren't we up the... What are they taking? Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Brace for A. Okay, anything else in this? This way lead to The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Natural lamente. Why would the staircase not be broken? This is this is a thriller. It'd be unsatisfying if the tension drops. Blinky lights, because I think I have some kind of shit going on. No. Thank you, I'm not into religion. Okay. Good, go up. Go back, check out. That'll do it. Okay. I have made myself a bridge. 
Anything over in this spooky corner? No. Camp. All right, onwards and upwards. Man, just... Wake attacked by birds. I'm still missing a page. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came, I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers mm. burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. That just means you need to learn to scream louder. We've only got two bullets for it, so we'll be saving that for something. We spare ammunition there. Alright, birds. Back to the corner. There's a ladder. Okay. Oh, it even tilts. Whee. Pistol? Beer and coffee can. There's a glittery sun. I will take that shot. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air. Oh, Pat. What a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but I don't trust you Pat. Around, take a moment. Radio Step personalities. Joey Palacios. If you're watching, talking to you, is absolutely still. The sky is good crystal dude. clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do listeners know I'm a, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Yeah, yeah I don't trust you, Pat. Old man like me, wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Call her. Yeah, call her. You're, you're on the air. Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Maurice Hello, Horton. Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustle in the undergrowth uh -oh. and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. <laughs> Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone mm. runs into Toby... Yeah, it's like... And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, Toby loves oh, Toby. Usually he comes back, but when Toby's taken. Far, and if they're going to make like me one. kill a dog, I'm going to have some problems. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Okay. See, the way that it warns us about what's coming up through the manuscript pages and through the radio broadcasts is, I think, real. Well done. Cool way of doing it. Another flare gun. Flare guns are, I am guessing, one shot.
I know that song, but I can't recognize, I can't place it, it's on the tip of my tongue. Nick Cave? I think it's Nick. I'll have to do some research on the soundtrack. You know, don't want to listen too closely, don't want to get, uh... Want to get the copyright goblins. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Yeah, but the promise of coffee. Oh, the best curves. If it's straight, very oh. oh. If the best with no curves. Curves to go. It's second best. The famous dog is... <clears throat> so, you've been listening to Carl Stuckey's Hot Dog Reviews. It does make me wonder why hot dogs always... Like, seem to have really aggressive names. Do you think that that's a selling point? Batteries, pick up the revolver ammo. Oh my. Whoa, just in time. Whoa, that was, that was pretty cool. Nicely done, game. Am I fully healed? I think I'm fully healed. Alright, into the woods we go. Make sure that I'm on a revolver and not on flare gun. Ah! Ow! Ah! Ow, double ow! Good thing we hit that checkpoint. All right. I need to also use my flashlight more aggressively. Okay, so there's the safe haven. Okay. Alright guys, I think I got him. We're gonna take a trip back to the safe haven and get our help. Easy mode or not. Perspective is still just sort of slightly tilted and I, uh... Not a fan of that. Just need to stop paying attention to where Alan's standing. with a burst of light, so that's nice. Manuscript page. I stepped station. into the gas station's garage. Mm. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, this will be fun to see. By a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Still missing a bunch of... Okay, so I heal a little bit. Just, uh... sort of catch my breath. 
pretty sure that I would heal faster in the lot. But, you know, we do what we gotta. Okay, another checkpoint for us. I'm guessing that the harder modes do not, uh, do not have as many checkpoints. We have to go. Uh, we're going to check this out first. So far, our friendly little glowy graffiti. Buddy has left us useful food. Ooh. New, new. That's me without avalanche, sir. Oh, yeah, cool. Go to the cave. It'll be fine. I'm not gonna say no to another flare gun. Okay. Come on, Stucky. Let's do this. No more ranting about the uh, creepy fascination of Americana that you seem to have. I yeah, don't trust that. Who could have guessed? Be fast, boys. Okay. Manuscript. Wake lies to the on sheriff. Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would mm. probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. The spookiness intensified. I have all the batteries I can stand. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, hmm. Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. The Bright Falls is where I am, and Night Springs is the Twilight Zone equivalent. Night Springs. Cool. There's a very much uh, dark places with Garth Marenghi vibe about that, though. If our lives are already written, this is awesome. Courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. What a cool! This is our fourth Ladies frame story. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here. At the Moorcock Institute. Michael Moorcock Tonight, reference. I'm clever. Going to give clever, a clever. Demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a light experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against Trigger my discipline, my guy. forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe mm. the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, mm. two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire. 
and one where it did. Is this is this what happened? I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger in another reality, yeah, this guy knows die? what's up. Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. Ah, you, dude, you you're a you're a multi murderer. You killed. You've killed Dr. Corkin a dozen times. One thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. Oh, you Barry. Gaze upon quantum immortality. That plug? <laughs> Dr. Colvin. Flung his own hubris. Oh, this is great. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened. The decaying Adam suicide. Curiosity often kills the cat. Night springs. Huh. Got some shotgun. Hello, yes, please. Oh. Getting, these guys are getting tougher, and there are more of them. However, I am. I am in a very big way not a fan of Alan's decision to use the shotgun one handed while holding a flashlight. That is, uh. That's probably not going to end well for any of us. Yes, yes. Just like reading stuff from a roadside guide. Uh, walking? Stucky's body vanished, leaving oh. behind only yes, a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Okay. I didn't realize that Stucky had joined the fight, or which one it was. I was just uh, terrified of my inability to dodge things well. be better on the control. I think maybe for the next right on the uh, I got a coffee thermos though, so our spirits are up. We're doing fine. We are doing a fine. Green thing. There we go. That'll get us to a gas station, right? Out of a logging camp, at least. Of it, of it, of it. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Well, that's just horrifying. You're not fans of that fall. Written 
sitting on the fence. Okay, station. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Oh, I get this. That is going to lie. 68th annual. The Deer Fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. I'm good. Manuscript page. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from mm. his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before. Lovecraftian. Knocking over a can of oil. These people got that in's mouth look. Across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the Hopefully uh, not with the him. subsequent racism. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Something underneath there. But at least I don't have to worry about crap. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, oh. outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel a presence in the dark. So through Just my writing, I am asserting my own reality in this. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I Nordic losing walking. my mind? Incontestably proven out the result. All right, November fifteenth to eighteenth. Hey, that's a that's real close to my birthday, my parents' anniversary. Uh, so let me hang on. Da, 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 da. At this point, we're a week away. So this is September eighth. Cool. So uh, only only a couple of days before uh, before my birthday. Uh, all right, games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest, and surprise competition. Live music for the children: Buck through Charlie in the afternoon, and Montgomery the Mystic's amazing Phantasmagoria in the evening. Don't miss the legendary Deer Fest parade. Rock stop. Real bear though. The world here is really like. Like beautifully put together, though. Very realistic. It's the little details, like like these weird, uh, the weird little candies that they always keep by. I have been in gas station. There is a there is a definite demarcation between like exploration sections and combat sections and you can tell it I by had just to trying go inside to the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Okay. That's what they're trying to subvert your expectations. I'm gonna check our bathrooms. This is the kind of place that would give you the bathroom key attached to like a plank of wood or a plunger or a crowbar. Something to prevent people from stealing it. Okay. Now there's creepy sound. Looking for a phone. There's a phone. Use a different Rainbow Sheriff Station. Chocolate time, everybody. Hey, I just uh just killed a bunch of guys in the woods. How are you? Oh, 
Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. The twist. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? No, Listen, I'm a rider. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized no. I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. This game is incredible. I am really digging this. It's a little bit hokier and um, Alan has um, um, the uh, uh, Guy Ritchie syndrome where he can't quite manage to close his mouth. He just sort of all the time. Her candy colored clown. Nice. All the Sandman. Uh, no, uh, no copyright claim on this. I'm certain that there's some kind of, uh, thing that I could... Mm -hmm. Don't under... Nope, no music, no music. We're good. No music. End of episode one. All right. on Alan Wake. Oh, cool. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here. There's our first episode. I thought maybe you could write here. We get a recap. That's narratively so cool. Now, she's missing. Alice? Now she's missing. There's two different realities. I keep finding manuscripts from a book that I haven't the written yet. Car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men. Very clearly inspired by like House of Leeds and other uh, the big important frame stories. and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. Episode two, taken. Starring Liam Neeson. Flashbacks. Throw me flashbacks in the game. This is beautiful. Alan has worn the same coat for three years solid. Well, at least then he shaved. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you oh, up. He's wearing a different hoodie. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. <laughs> the author photo. I think one of my goals uh, uh, for when I do break through the writer's block and get my shit published, finish it. Coffee's uh, on. Great. Be to take the like one of the weirder, worst author photos ever. Maybe just me hunched over a type board or uh, a keyboard, feral and uh, uh, and haggard. Like the strange goat shaman that I am. You guys are not doing badly for themselves here in New York with. Looking good across the street, but decent apartment. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this way. On designer? occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? You're married up, well, dude. Well, you seem to think so last night. Alice, this is a Christian Minecraft server. They were on the desk. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. 
The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Barry. Alan! Alan, please check the fuel. It's true what Stop they say that. about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lay in here in the snow. In case you're not familiar, chase. it's never the fall that kills you. In my head. The sudden stop at the end. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Mm. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors ah, again. Alone the at my own wake. Was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. This is so my cool. My blood painted the snow red. The gruesome slushy dissolved all the a scattered slushy. pain killers and leisurely dripped down to this the... Is a, this is just Max Payne, right? City. This is just... They're just talking about Max Payne. I can see them now. My yep. wife. Alan Wake I'm wrote right the here. Max Payne games. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. It's a clip. Okay. This use button. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid. Here, the dark has just, to be uh, especially terrible. when I'm not prepared for it. You know, it gets to me. I love you. I get Tell it. I, I have a right? primal. Okay. I have a primal fear response to sharks. I used to have uh, these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark and, uh, really spooked me. If I'm not prepared too. for them, man, it is really a full bad. body My mom terror. Gave me this old light switch. That's no good. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. He's a writer. Thanks for this. He's a writer. Tastefully done. Let's size that up. New York? Doing really well for yourself there, Alan. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about well, my he's going well guys. I'm getting a little bit of he's screen tearing, I think, just because it's a... An I older game but... without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Thanks, Country Doc. Well, You're the Mr. next friend that I'll have to kill. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife. I'll call them in for a Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Mm -hmm. Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Good to forge now, a report. She's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand... I feel like it'd be rude to just walk away. <laughs> you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. No. Um, I'll take your word for it, Doc. Not a fishing man. Uh, those, um, uh... uh those that are watching, and I'm fairly sure that uh, it looks like I've got three viewers at the moment. Uh, those of you who know me know that I'm not even an outside man. Until they invent indoor fishing. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. But everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. 
The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I like Miss sure Weaver. Take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure mm -hmm. standing in the shadows behind the cabin. A curly in camera moment. Dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human shaped. Rob's when you get trapped she in the conversation, it's like, laughed. no, that's a large mouth bass is what you're looking when you're out for a lure and you consider how long it would take to gnaw off your own leg. I don't want to be rude. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Goodness. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the Bray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. So, oh, uh, is this the next that. day? Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. All right. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Oh, thanks. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, oh, other things these days. Nah, she, she saw right through in the... where I come from. Yeah, so now we've got missing Toby, missing cat, and missing one. Missing Richard Baugh, Bruce Dansky, and Jacob Miller. Give me a trip over. I haven't been in contact. Act for winning contests. On the cat? I want to find the cat, y'all. Okay. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Oh, thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? He's my Alan. men are already on it. Oh, now, can you tell up, me what Alan. happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. Her. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Did not. Hello? Alice. Looking off face sauce, my dude. Me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. Oh, no. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need some fresh air. Can I go out in the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. Very I'm reasonable. sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Can I ask you what the call was about, Mr. Wake? It's personal. Well, we are looking for your wife, and I'm going to need your cooperation if I'm going to help you. I need a moment after I get some fresh air. OK. You can find me here. We'll talk when you feel up to it. All right. So. This of Doc is gone. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no Carol such seems luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. Can't help you, my dude. Can't help myself. Manuscript. In spite of its Our human presence. Mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Oh. 
Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the lighter would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Trying to lure me in. Hey! 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 Please help me, man! I hate this! I can't stand the dark anymore! Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. First, coffee. And radio. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the show. you know, Pat. We've had a few broken windows. Even a report of shots fired on me. Uh, so he was and yelling that, uh, uh, the, he couldn't stand the darkness. The so it is something to do with the plot, but he also was drunk. This every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No point in getting all worked up yet. All right, Pat's whole thing was, you know, hey there. Don't, uh, don't go shooting stuff. Okay. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind Man, the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Anything hidden over here? No, we're we thinking. That's what they get for leaving the open pathways. Music selection. Nobody. Script page. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come mm. from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Right, Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Or I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Okay, so yes, let's, uh, let's go back and beat him a line. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. Heavy. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about it. Oh, am I like writing my own fate the here? The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Spooky. Love this. Marvelous, Barry. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing they are not accountable for their actions of course i can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded tor and odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm or indeed all we can do is to slow down the progress oh, of their dimension. are those the the two old bikers at the bar are you feeling any better mr wake i'd like to leave am i free to go well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, being detained. of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? 
I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, 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 That's assault in front of a sheriff, my guy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your I mean, asses. I know what hit no, him. It, done, it's sir. a rider. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. Mm. I thought they were going to lock you up. They're revealing more and more of Al and I, and, and I, I kind of like him. I had to talk. Do to not someone. punch people. I told Barry in a everything. sheriff's office. Though. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard Life about tip. the manuscript, don't do that. Him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. We call that bad, Barry. Mr. Wake. In the uh, in the writer's Barry, parlance. You found him. I rose. Oh wow! I was just Everybody thinking about it. you too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking after Max. Don't be. Poor thing. Alan, don't be a dick. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Who's Max? Actually, don't know. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. <laughs> this is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Buck she even has Charlie. a fan site dedicated to you. Skeleton of the Colombian Mammoth, Mammoth Columba. The specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was discovered from the La Brea Tar Pits in 1981. Donated to the Elderwood National Park in 98 when the Columbian Mammoth became Washington State Fossil. And Bucktooth Charlie it has since become the park's official. From the Cenozoic era, a. Eh? Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. You like to get a sitting bear Buddha statue? Bucktooth Charlie plushie? Or the local. local You shot a guy, and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? Wish. No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, Do and everything's just- Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when hey, you start something. confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. I don't worry, Regan, uh, do you finance all those? There are no funny farms. I just turn you out onto the streets. Rusty. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Toby. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and yeah, okay. I'd rather not leave yeah. him alone. Just across the desk on the man. They can't just go and killer. meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing, it... Listen, you hit your head. Now, Barry's not exactly Jeez, wrong. Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha-ha, <laughs> let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. No, oh, man. I don't see anybody laughing. I think I'm a writer, so. I think I'm a the form you wanted. And here are the keys. 
Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Like the manuscript oh, said. Ow. You're asking me to believe that you yeah, shot okay, a Barry. dude who went boop into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a... Yeah, yeah, Barry, I know. It sounds crazy, but, but I know. I know, I know, Barry. Ow. Barry, I know. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. Don't knock this over the light out. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. Barry has allergies, but you're my uh, best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Everybody relates with. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. There's a cavalry? <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels like are that. dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy. God 15. knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. 15? I'm giving you 15%? Getting robbed. Leave those on. Here and none, please. All right. Head for Lover's Peak. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. I'm watching the door now. Thanks, Barry. Manuscript. More of an ammunition. These are what I look for. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened. Well, to frightening Alice. intensity is not he necessarily a good thing. Gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. As well it should. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Got our gun, got our flashlight. I knew I should have gone Bullets. to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had got a bit of a oppositional defiant disorder, the don't you, Al? Them, and they had Alice. Hello, ammunition. It's another radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson. Oh, it's Spark the old doc that I talked to. Studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot I understand that this is what a lot of, like, you know, small Washington towns are like, is everybody knows everybody, you know, you got people that just sort of drift by the local radio station and hang out. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? 
<laughs> yes, exactly, Pat. You're never too old to sacrifice. If you know what I mean. That takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> Are we talking about sex? Oh, yeah. It's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an yeah. avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early yeah. this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to it's worry nice. about what I'm catching, you know? <laughs> Considering your track record, the participants are probably Spiracy pretty thing. happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Okay. Where do we go to Lover's Peak? Oh, I ain't spooky at all. No. No, no, sir. Honestly. Okay. Into the darkness, then. Shan Cave. This episode of Night Springs. Especially in Night Springs. Hope everybody's had a lovely day. I know this isn't the most exciting aspect of uh, of the game, but I'm really enjoying it. That's a cool effect of all of them. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. I really so enjoy these little you interstitial a narratives. From the arresting officer's report here. Assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow. That sentence really throws, huh? No. No, it doesn't. Need to do that. you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you mm. went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him, either. That must be difficult. Maybe to see the guy smiling. Friends. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. This is more of that, like, it's quantum perfect. reality stuff, uh, revealing things. itself. So if I'm following the themes that they're putting down, two different realities.
There's like an angry bunch of birds. Oh, hello, car. Do not feed the wildlife. Hazard. Manuscript page. Rose Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. But she did now. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel mm -hmm. good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Achievable, Rose. Don't do it. I'm not saying, you know, settle for the small town life if it doesn't suit you, but I ain't for Hollywood, it's just as hollow. Uh. Oil can. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten uh -oh. brown thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack Ooh. had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were I go back to the visitor center? In terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Bye. I kind of feel the need to go back to the visitor center. Like, if I'm in charge of reality, maybe I can change things? I don't know. Don't imagine that a game this tightly scripted would uh, would really allow for that. But yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna go see if Rusty's okay. I hope this is Besides, it's my stream, I do what I want. Just the cab. Okay, so here's our cabin. Okay. Well, at least it's not. I guess we'll continue on to Lover's Peak. But it does make me wonder exactly what attack. Running, running, running. Oh, was it? Like, by the visitor center? Is this supposed to be the visitor center? Okay. Away we go. Here's the visit. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Rusty, I'm coming. Rusty. Coming, buddy. Ooh. Can you hear me? Anyone? Hello? Please help! Back here. Ooh, wow. Wow, my guy. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. I can call you Betty. Betty, when you Just call me, you can call me page. out. I found. It came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights in the office. I have the key. You were a good dude. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back.
Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. There's the keys in the office. Okay, so we gotta get to the office. First aid kit? No? No, just the office. How do I get to the office? Oh yeah, I follow... Follow the thing like not more. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Park Ranger's office. There we go. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, let's get the page. At the last okay. instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed I'm a rider, not a runner. Low, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. I have been working out, which is, uh... Cold light. <laughs> the pandemic has not been kind to my aerobic uh, abilities. But we'll get there. Munition. Battery. Uh, uh... Ooh, that was too late. Yeah, that ain't good. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! Not looking good, dude. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. You missed that? Hmm. The visitor Rusty center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown Ooh. across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Well, at least we found all of the pages so far. Step into the goo. I just need hunting licenses. For you, buddy. Ooh. Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Yeah, but I'm looking at that blood splot because that takes uh, strength. Please don't feed the animals. Wasn't there, wasn't there a grizzly bear statue? Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. At all times. Rusty, Rusty no. Rusty, no. Never. Ooh. Two bears and wolves never approach any other wolf closer than 25 yards. Pets must be leased. Oh, no, no. Never leave your pet on a turn. Oh, not a fan of this. Okay, got it.
But we ain't done. Okay. Oh. Not very good at strafing in this game. At least I got rusty. So, of course, the worst part is every time I kill one of these guys that ends up, you know, like being turned against me, uh, there goes evidence of my innocence. A bit of a quandary. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're um, not crazy. Now's not the time to be a crazy, crazy bitch. But you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. That's right. We're going traipsing through the wood park. We're keeping our eyes peeled for those manuscripts. It's intentional and not because I'm confused and lost. Hey, emergency batteries, emergency bullets. I think there may have been something back there. All right. Rusty's final In that thought. last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck oh. his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Can't wait around, my guys. All right, Lover's Peak it is. The way that we came up. Okay. But it was at the end of the hiking trail. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Uh, we're up and cave for all of our glowy friends' advice. You're breathing in. Went brute liquor. Mostly for temporary storage of alcohol smuggling in Canada, but at times alcohol is fun. Gun, come on. In the box. Open the box. Zen batteries. Achievement unlocked. Finders keeper. Okay. Get out of here and talk to this guy about my wife. I'll feel better.
Rusty, you were my homie. And by that, I mean you owned the place that I was staying. with the quickness. Okay. Let's just take them. Okay. No phone. Anything of interest over here? I already finished the manuscript. I see that thing over there. Let's do it. Hmm. Sorry, you hear pingings. I'm getting a lot of alerts. It happens this time of year. Alright, I'm guessing that's still too far for me to jump that. Lover's Peak is that. Fire expectation. And you screw. No way right. Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Rose was the kind of fan that Alan hated because Alan hates fans. Alan's uh, bought in, uh, bought into his own hype a little bit too much. And like, I think writers should always be grateful that people took the time to care about the words that they put on the page. Great old one. Well, get some more shotgun ammo. Yeah, it's nice. Right. Cafe and souvenir. Ain't you, sir? The uh, the taken are getting a little more frisky as I approach the great old one.
almost as though they are defending it. Held by lightning in 1937, this exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir, Pseudotsuga menziesi, subspecies Glauca, is over 200 years old. According to local legends, it stretched beyond the stars. Beyond the stars. That's clever. After it fell, it was measured to be 66 meters tall, nearly a record. Great old one. What happens if we pat? that John Wick spin going on. Okay, we're still in dodgy combat mode, so... But there are more of these guys around. I am not a fan of them sneaking up behind me, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, come on, Al. No, no, don't stop running. Keep... Oh. Oh, not the right time, Al. Ah, nope. That's... Alright, well, here is where I think I am going to end the stream for the night. Uh, my wife is on the way home, so I'm going to get some dinner rolling. Uh, but thank you guys so much for joining me. This game has been everything that every single one of you said that it is. Uh, so thank you so many of you for recommending it to me over the years. I'm, I'm really sorry that it's gotten, uh, or that it's been so long uh, for me to actually get to it. I've been distracted by things like capitalism. Uh, I'm going to be doing this again uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, probably in the mid-afternoon. Uh, as always, uh, make sure that you have subscribed. Uh, comment on the video when I put it up. Thanks for being uh, active in the chat. Uh, tell your friends. We are 25 subscribers away from 100 subscribers. And a giveaway. Give away this precious little guy. This uh, adorable little unicorn. Handcrafted by an amazing fabric artist. Uh, and, he's, and he sits like a little gentleman. Uh, so uh, tell your friends, get them to subscribe. Eventually, we will have a full-blown community going. Um, but thanks again so much for joining me. I know that you could be doing anything else with your time, and you hung out with me, and that means a lot to me. We'll see everybody next time. Oh yeah, don't forget, money is a lie.